So here we're looking at um, an individual with a longer right leg. So you can see where the colours change from the dark blue, light blue, green, yellow, brown and then red. That's a hot spot. Also indicated by the percentage of body weight over that segment, that, that quarter, at 37, 38%. And then on the left side only 20, 21%. So you're getting the longer leg pushing back down. It's a bony difference. The ground reaction forces are pushing back, affecting the pelvis and other structures. And then on the forefoot, uh, there's also less weight on the left forefoot than the right forefoot. And the circle with the X is finding the pressure cell with the greatest pressure. So you often find that underneath the first metatarsal as the first rate drops to try and stabilize the foot. This foot's also trying to keep its height by having more supination, hence why there's no contact on the outside here. And then on the right, it's trying to maximally pronate. It's a neutral foot type, but trying to maximally pronate. So we've got much more skin contact here because it's trying to lower itself on that side. This is one of the mechanisms to try and deal with pelvic obliquity because of the long right leg. So this type of asymmetry and function with the center of mass, it isn't a true representation of the central gravity, center of mass, because this is registered on the pressure plate. So it's, it's center of mass registered by, I guess, center of pressure. So if we just go on to the stabilometry side here, we can see that from the long right side, the centre of pressure, or like I say, indirectly the centre of mass is drifting from right heel to left forefoot. And that's the direction this individual would drift. Or for example, if they were skiing, they'd edge better to the left. If they were right footy, they might, they might as a footballer, they might feel as though cutting into the left would be a little bit better. But that's an indication that we would use some kind of intervention to deal with that drift of the body, centre of mass, in the case of a back pain patient.